Hello, my name is Keshwani. It's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our geometry skill. Today is our day number 11. As I explained in my previous video, the first 10 video, what, what I did in the first 10 videos for day 1 through 10 was to cover some basic elementary concepts of geometry. We have done that already. We have covered the basic concepts that I wanted to cover on day 1 through 10. And starting from today, we're going to start solving geometry problems. Some of them are going to be easy. Some of them are quite easy. Some of them are not so easy. If you make the call as to uh, how, how, how we look at them, depending on your skill, obviously. But even if they're easy, it does not hurt to actually sit there and solve them. You will get something out of it. So here's the problem for today. We are given three lines. Let's call them L1, L2, and L3. Or better yet, let's put them here. And you will see in a second why. L1, L2, and L3. We are given three lines, and they, they are intersected by these two lines. We are told that this is 70, and we are told that this is 40, and this is A, and this is B. This is A degrees, this is B degree. That's what it is. The question simply is, how much is A plus B? That's all. Our first problem. How much is A plus B? That's all. So how do we go about doing it? Well, for those of you who are still not so sure about the concept of parallel lines as to how to go about handling something like this, you might find you might find it fruitful, you might find it wise, you might find it beneficial to go and watch the video on day number eight, which is when I covered this concept of parallel line. As I said, in the first few first ten days, I covered uh, basic concepts or uh, basic geometry concepts. And on day number eight, we talked about scenarios such as this one. So let's 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 talk about them. Well, the easiest way to tackle this thing is to chop it down. Don't try to look at the whole picture in one shot. Just chop it down. Let's first look at line one, L one and L two, L one and L two, and forget the L three altogether. Forget line line L one and L two, and then here's your other line. This seventy goes up here. Oh, actually, it's not the L1 and L2 we need. It's not the L1 and L2 we need. We need L1 and L3. Well, don't look at L2. And this is A. We are told that this is A. So, we have a scenario like this. I'm just going to raise it all together. Don't look at L2 at all. So, what can we gather? If this is 70, then this must also be 70 because they are both small angles they are both small angles and if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about small angles go and watch the videos in the videos I talk about the small angles and large angles and the sum of the small angles and the large angles and which two angles are equal and which two are not and so forth the small angles are all equals so this if this is 70 so is this one and we know that straight line is 180 a straight line makes 180 so A must be straight line equals 180 degrees and if a, if this is 70 then A must be 180 minus 70 which is 110 so that takes care of A part A we know is 110 now let's look at B B is this one and for B we have to look at line L2 and L3 don't worry about L1. Here, this 40 I'm going to reproduce here. This is 40. And we are asked for the B. But if this is 40, then this small angle here is also 40. And if that's 40, straight line being 180, B must be 180 minus the, minus the 40, which gives you 140. I don't want to keep writing the degree sign all the words, it's annoying. There we go, that's it. So the question was how much is uh, A plus B? And I just realized that I had not given you the answers. The answers were A, B, C, D, E. Oh, quite straightforward. 
210. It's, it's too late in the story to give the answers because we already have it here. 230, 240, and 250. So therefore, A plus B is 110 plus 140, which is 250. The answer is B. That's all. That's all there was. Let's do one more problem, shall we? Again, one more time. You see, I, I'm leaving it out and I'm going to insert them now because we are done now. So I'm going to insert them now what I have left out. In this scenario, I left out L1 because we don't need L1. L1 is annoying. And here we had left out L2 because L2 was annoying. L2 was not playing any part. L2 only plays part when we deal with 40 degrees, which deal with the L2. And L1 only plays parts when we're dealing with the 70 degrees. Oh, and we also left out, that's right, I just realized it, we had also left out this line. So let me put that. We had left out L1 because it plays no role. And we had left out this guy right here. Because we don't need them. And here, we had left out the L2 because we don't need it. And we had left out this guy right here. That would have been 40 degrees. But as you can see, it gets quite annoying if you do that. If you, it gets too complicated. This was your 40 degrees that we do not need. And here, this was the 70 degrees that we do not need. So I left them out. Just ignore them. Just consider, just consider on, the, on the information that you need at that time to solve whatever it is that you're looking for. So you first look for the one variable, A or B, and then you look for the other variable. Don't try to do everything at once. Do you understand? Don't try to analyze the whole picture in one shot. Dissect it. Break it up into small fragments. Divide and conquer, as they say. Divide and conquer. Right. Let's do one more problem, shall we? I'm going to leave all of this there for whatever it's worth. I don't know what the hell for. So that was our last problem. We won't worry about it. Let's look at second problem. In the second problem, you're given a picture here. Perhaps we should erase it all because... We are told that this is 50 degrees, this is 40 degrees, this is 30 degrees, and the question simply is how much is x? This is problem number two, it's nothing to do with, maybe we should erase it because it's annoying. Let's just get rid of it, we're done with it. Problem number two. This is 40 degrees, this is 50 degrees, we are told that this is 30 degrees, the question simply is, how much is x? There we go. Well, how do we go about it? What I want you to do is pause the video, if you have to, I forgot to tell you that in the first problem, pause the video, always get, a habit of, in, the, get in the habit of pausing the video, solving it yourself, however long it takes you, it might something like this might take you 10 seconds, it might take you 30 seconds, whatever it takes you, pause the video, do it yourself and then continue. You'll get more out of it. So here, what concept do we have to apply? The concept that we need to apply is that the entire, that, uh, let's see, how should we go about tackling it? But there are many different ways you can do this. If this is x, then this guy here must also be x, they're called opposite angles. This angle, and this angle, they are called opposite angles or vertical angles. And vertical angles are equal. So if this guy is x, if this guy is x, and so is this guy. Now I want to look at, now I want to look at this line here. That's the straight line right here. I'm going to make it darker. That's the straight line. In a straight line, we have, in this straight line, we have four angles. We have 50 degrees, we have 40 degrees, we have x degrees, and we have 30 degrees. And all of them make a straight line. And what do we know about a straight line? 
A straight line, as you can see, is half the circle. A straight line makes 80 degrees. A straight line makes 80 degrees. Therefore, 50 plus, this is problem number 2, plus 40 plus, no need to write degree sign, plus x plus the 30 must equal 180. There you go. And all you have to do now is to solve for x. That's all. So for 50 plus 40 is 90 plus 30 is 120. So we are told that x plus 120 equals 180. Subtract 120 from both sides. And your x would equal 60 degrees voila. I forgot to give you the answers one more time, didn't I? The answers were A, B, C, D, E, 55, 60, 65, 70, and 75. And the answer is 60. That's all. That's all. I'll see you tomorrow on day number 12, and we'll do some couple of more problems. We'll do, we'll do a couple of problems every day. And just put in a few minutes every day on a consistent basis. Uh, We'll keep it as a, as a geometry uh, time and you'll see that gradually as we do more and more problems as they become more and more complicated you will see a marked improvement in your geometry skill. Right? It doesn't matter whether you're preparing for the SAT or the GRE or the GMAT any of these three exams these concepts are helpful in all of these exams. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.